Hello and welcome back to the Bar Munich career mode and it's me Dan back again and today we are starting the season 2 of the Bar Munich career mode and yeah normally the first episode is transfers and that's what we're going to be doing today uh, so before we start I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently and I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers for subscribing so thank you guys for that right <coughs> oh excuse me uh yeah so uh obviously we've got um we've got a couple of players that we've got a couple of players that we need to sign uh obviously one player um we need to sign back is james rodriguez which we will be signing him back um so yeah let's look at uh, this episode we're just going to concentrate on the first squad and then uh, the second squad will be our next episode yeah we'll, yeah we we will be like advancing plus plus uh doing you know sorting out the second squad so yeah so look forward to that guys uh so yeah so today we are going to be doing the first team so um a couple of you guys said about a couple of players um yeah a couple of you guys said about a current a couple of players in the comment section and uh one of them was lucas Hernandez. Obviously, he just recently signed for Bayern Munich. Um, I don't know whether to do it or not, because we've got Alaba. Um, so, I mean, we could swap Lucas Hernandez for Alaba, and then we could train Hernandez to make him much more better. Um, so there's an option which I might do. Uh, one of you guys said about Tony Cruz. <sighs> See, the thing with Tony Cruz, he's, I like him, but the thing is, he's he's slow. Um He's got like the good passing. He's got good defending. He's just like really slow for me. I don't know what it is. Um, even with the stamina as well, the stamina is like seventy-five. But I, I mean, the thing is with Tony Cruz, it's like he's good at set pieces. He's good at everything. Uh, but I don't know because we've got Gretzka, we've got Thiago. We had we have to we would have to get rid of one of our uh, midfielders for Cruz and. I'm, I am thinking about it. I am thinking about it. Um, another player one of you guys said about was Sergio Ramos. Um, same same thing. Uh, Ramos, he's a bit older. Um, and I think he's just going to get... To be honest, it would be a nice signing if he was like uh, Koulibaly, for example, who's 28. Um, which we I think he might be much better uh, to get. So... I think we're going to get rid of uh, Ramos on that list just because, um, obviously, Ramos is 33. He's just going to go down in decline, and I don't want that. Uh, so, yeah, Koulibaly uh, will be the centre-back we will be signing, I think. And, obviously, uh, we're going to we're gonna swap um, Renato Sanchez for Gerson Fernandez as uh, we need to do the uh, money glitch, don't we? And, uh, yeah, so let's do that first. So... Um, let's quickly do that. So if we go to transfer hub and approach to buy, get some Fernandez, and uh, yeah, uh, another another person someone said about was Jovic. Uh, I can't I can't remember his first name, but Lovic from he was on loan at a German club, but he's uh, originally from um, Benfica. I'm gonna talk. Yeah, I'm gonna like I say, I'm gonna do the second team in the second video so look yeah look forward to that so we do have 186 million but you know that would be a bit more better if we can get you know a better player and obviously uh Renato Sanchez he's a good player but um we can get Fernandez it's basically a straight swap to be honest so uh, let's get in get some Fernandez and we should get our money back let's see <clears throat> we should have our money back yeah so there we go 22 million he will be a sporadic player obviously um i think he might be like a 77 or 78 maybe i'm not too sure <coughs> uh disregard race clause uh wage let's just give him i don't know 40k and then 500,000 does doesn't really matter it's a submit offer yeah so there we go we have Gedson fernandez right so uh let's do the uh wage budget thing um, so let's push that all the way down and as you can see we do have 1 billion uh, 1.2 billion so that's not too bad so there we go guys how about that uh, right so um, y yeah let's quickly advance um, so then we can get the thing out of the way um, the um, what's it, the 
pre-season invite out of the way and then we'll show you um, the objectives for the season as well uh, so let's decline that right so yeah objectives for the season is pretty much the same as last season uh, win the Champions League win the cup win the title pretty much um, profit from you players we don't really have to do because obviously We've done that. Uh, shirt sales will be easy to do. And financial, we've done that already. We're at 80%. <coughs> oh, I don't know why I'm out of breath. Um, anyway, um, what should we do now? Yeah, so let's do, go to the transfer hub and let's look at our centre-back. So, obviously, do we do it, guys? Yeah, you guys wanted him, so let's do it. Um, I mean, I was thinking about... I'll just quickly show you. I was thinking about keeping Alaba, right... And then put in Alaba in midfield. And then have um, Goretzka on the bench instead of uh, Mendes. Get rid of Mendes. And then obviously have uh, Goretzka and Tolisso in that second team. Um, which wouldn't be too bad actually. That would be a really good second team to have. Um, and then obviously have um, Lucas Hernandez there. But I don't know. Does, was, will it work out like that guys? I mean, Tony Cruz, you know, he might be better. He might be better than Alaba, but I don't know. Will that work, guys? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like all over the place at the moment. Uh, at the moment, um, shall we do that? I mean, he's good at defending. He's got good stamina as well. He's got 85 stamina. He's got good free kicks as well, Alaba. He can take. He's good set piece taker as well, Alaba, isn't he? Um, he's good shooter. He's I think he's high medium. Yeah, so left back, centre back, and centre mid. So you can play there. Well, these play these players are playing centre defence mid, but um, I don't know. Um, shall we do that? Yeah. Do you know what? We're gonna do that. I'm I'm not gonna sign Tony Cruz, guys. I know one of you guys wanted me to sign Tony Cruz, but I think I'm gonna have Alibert in midfield. We're gonna try it out. We'll try it out in like the first couple games. If it works, we'll keep him. If not, <clears throat> if not, we'll sign Tony Cruz and then maybe get rid of Alaba or somewhere. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. So, let's go buy um, Lucas Hernandez. He's got a release clause. So let's do that. Um, so, yes, we'll pay that. And then let's get him. <coughs> right, squad roll. Um, he will be important. Can we get him on important? It might be crucial. Oh, no, we can get him on important. There we go. That's not too bad. Uh, five years as he's only 23. And yeah, like I said, guys, we can, you know, train him to make him a better uh, left back, can't we? So let's deny that. And the wages will be, once we get there, um, let's give him let's give him a, a pay rise. 100,000 and signing bonus of 1 million. He should accept that. There we go. So we have signed, um, what's his name? Right, so we t we'll keep Tony Cruz there. And then maybe like next week when we, you know, play a couple games and maybe sign him on transfer deadline day or something like that. Um, anyway, let's get James Rodriguez back as well. So let's approach to buy James Rodriguez as, you know, you guys. I don't know if they've actually bought him or not. Have they bought him yet? I'm not too sure. Um, right, it's going to be cost a quite a lot of money, I think. Let's do 75 million just to see if they'll accept that. I think they will accept it. Yeah, 75 million. Maybe I should have offered them a bit less than that. But James Rodriguez, welcome back. He will be a permanent signing now. Uh, yeah, crucial. He'll be out on that right-hand side like he was last season. Uh, five years, obviously. Oh, three years. He wants three years. Okay, can we meet in the middle? Let's go four years. Yeah, there we go. Um, right, release clause. Doesn't want a release clause. That's fine. Uh, wages will be quite high because he gets paid quite a lot um, for I want to see how I'm going to see if I can just give him 200,000 and then probably what I don't know 2 million if I can get the thing right ah, two, no <laughs> I'm doing it with the analog I should do it with the directional pads so, alright there we go uh, advance right so submit offer see if you accept that yep so there we go James Rodriguez welcome to the club and, uh, yeah, so for Koulibaly, I was looking at centre-backs, like you said, about Ramos and, and uh, other play, other people. Um, so, I like Shula, because he's a good uh, 
centre back. He's got aerial threat and he's only 23, so he will get better. Manalas hasn't really worked out, Manalas, has he, really? Um, he did a good job last season, but, you know, Koulibaly would be a huge better upgrade as well. And he's playing on the left with two star weak foot. That's a bit of a weird one. That is very bit of a weird one. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we're gonna get rid of Manalas and then bring in Koulibaly. I think I think that's the best thing there to do. Uh, it's Koulibaly. Let's approach the sign. Um, we should be able to just do a straight swap for Manalas and um, Koulibaly because it's two centre back positions, isn't it? Manalas, yeah, thirty one million. Uh, Fifty nine million. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We've got the money, haven't we? So there we go. So in you come Koulibaly. Right, so let's look at signing him. Crucial, obviously. Could be a new captain as well, Koulibaly. Uh, let's do four years. Will he do four years like James Rodriguez? Yeah, he'll do four years. Disregard release clause and the wage. Let's give him... No, we won't give him... Let's give him 140. Let's give him a better pay rise than, well, 10 grand pay rise. There we go. So we've signed Koulibaly. Right, so on to the squad. So let's look at the squad now. So like I said, we're going to try out uh, Hernandez. Uh, we're going to try out Alaba as the centre centre mid for this or the first two games. And then obviously if it doesn't work out, we can... Um, get rid of him and sign Tony Cruz, can't we? So, there's that. Um, so, Jonathan Tarr, you're coming out. Koulibaly goes there. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to put in James Rodriguez. We need to put Sola back on the bench. Um, yeah, so there we go. Lewandowski, <laughs> he's 89. He's dropped in overall, uh, but he's a good player. He's, you know, we're going to keep him. We're going to keep him for the season, so you might as well keep Lewandowski. Uh, right, so what else I was looking at? I think that was pretty much it for the first team. I tell you what I was looking at, guys. Um, I know it's a bit of a, a bit of a uh, shitty thing to do, but Insigne, um, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And uh, one player uh, recently who I watched uh, watched on TV uh, who is looking really good. <laughs> was a left wing called Eden Hazard and uh, yeah I think uh, I think we're going to have to do it guys Eden Hazard is such a good player on this game is unreal I, on like last season he was like well in the last game he wasn't that bad he wasn't that good but on this game he's so good and I think it's an opportunity not to take him. I think we have to take him, guys. I know Insigne, yeah, like Insigne hasn't grown. He, I think he only grows to an 89 if possible, but he hasn't really grown at all, has he, really? Um, another player who I was looking at was Sane as well, Leroy Sane, as he's German as well. And he will grow, obviously, as Leroy Sane, but I'm not too sure what his overall is. Yeah, so he's one less overall than... Um, Hazard, well, well, Hazard's a 91, but he's one less overall, less than Insigne. Uh, do we do that, or should we do... I think I think we've got to go for Eden Hazard, haven't we, guys? I think the writing's on the wall, isn't it? I think it is. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's make one massive signing. Why not to finish off the episode? Eden Hazard, let's see if we can get him in. If not, well, his contract expiring in 12 months as well. Wow. <laughs> Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get um, Insigne swap for uh, Hazard. Let's see if that ha See, let's see if that happen. Uh, so wingers, Lorenzo Insigne. Will they do it? Yes, they will. Fifty-one million. Uh, yeah, we've got the money, haven't we? So there we go. So they do want Insigne and Hazard. Welcome to the team. I uh, hope you guys will like that one. Uh, crucial, obviously. Um, yeah, it's just a, like a bit of a bit of a like uh, well class to add to the team in it. Really, five years. Um, we're gonna get him on a full contract, and uh, yeah, and yeah, that's fine because we got a load of money, so it doesn't really matter about bonus. So there we go, guys. That is that. So look at the first team now. 
Um, all right, we've got Eden Hazard on the left, Lewandowski up top, Rodriguez behind him, Firmino still, Thiago and Alaba, question mark over Alaba, you know, could we, shall we sign Cruz for Alaba? I'll leave that up to you guys and we'll make a decision next week. And then obviously we've got to train up Hernandez and we also brought in Koulibaly for Manalas and Kimmich and then obviously Manuel Neuer. Uh, so yeah that's that guys so anyway guys I'm actually going to end it here for today I know it's a bit of a long run today but obviously we wanted to do the transfers the main first team transfers and then next episode will be the second team transfers so look forward to that guys so anyway guys I'm actually going to end it here so please like comment and subscribe and I shall see you guys next time so right I'm going bye I uh, know guys thank you for watching my video hit me up on twitch and twitter and don't forget to watch the playlist down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.